Hello, Michael McCarthy here. In this video, we're going to take a look at one of our uh, new features of Ornatrix 4, which is the Rotate Strand modifier. So in a lot of cases, you might have a character like this, where you're using your hair to create feathers or leaves or foliage of some sort. And in this character, we're creating feathers. And we may want to have a little bit of control over how these feathers are rotated over the body of the character. To do that, we'll just go in and we'll add the Ornatrix Rotate Strand modifier. And you can see that by default, if we kind of choose a different angle, you can rotate these feathers around. So if you wanted them to be uh, you know, at 90 degrees, then that might work out well. Or if you wanted them to be a little bit tilted in one direction, then you could have that happen. And of course, you can take something like this and you can apply a map to it. So let me just bring up my material editor and I'll use this gradient ramp to adjust the angle map. I'll choose instance. And now you can see that, you know, the hairs at the bottom are being affected by the map as well as the top. So at the top it's white and that's getting the full 90 degree angle and at the bottom it's black and that's not getting the 90 degree angle at all. So uh, that's a good way that you can either paint in how you want your angles or uh, anything of that nature. You can see also in version 4 we've added the option to invert these maps. So if you've uh, you know painted them in one way or another and you just want to invert them here that can be very helpful. One other thing that's really useful, especially for a character like this with feathers, is the ability to use the orient based on strand option. If I set orient based on strand, what will happen is it will look at the character and it will look at the way that the guides are pointed in relation to the mesh and it's going to orient them based on that direction. So if I set this to 180, we should get a flat feather all the way around the character and that is just perfect for what we're looking for for our feathered characters. And if we want to add a little bit of variation to that, you can go down and add some chaos. So I'm just going to set the chaos to something like 30. And you can see that gives us a little degree of variation, which is really helpful. You can also map the chaos like we did before with the angle map. So I'll just kind of drag this in. And I'll choose instance. And I'm going to move the black up a bit. And crank up the chaos some. And I'm going to flip it around. Now you can see that we've set it so that we have the uh, bottom portion getting no chaos and the top getting a pretty fair amount. So I can adjust this down again and if I just wanted the top to be a little mussed around then that's something that I could do with our OX Rotate Strands map. Lastly you can see at the top we have the ability to face a camera. So I'm just going to check uh, face camera and I'm going to go out here. I'm going to display the camera that's in the scene and I'll pick that camera. So now you can see that these hairs will always face the camera as far as that mesh is concerned. So if I move this around, you can see they will always point in the direction of the camera. And that can be very helpful for a lot of different circumstances. So this has been the OX Rotate Strands modifier. Hopefully that will help you in your productions creating feathered characters or foliage or other things that need to propagate some sort of mesh across a surface. Thank you very much.